What's going on everyone? I wanted to make a quick video of me testing out this Schmeiser 60 round mag. You can see I got it fully loaded there. I'm going to do a couple of drop tests after an initial fire here. I just wanted to see what this thing could hold up to and I haven't heard great reviews about the drop test so I wanted to confirm that for myself. Now let's get into it. So initially as far as loading the mag it is really tough to get those last 20 rounds in. I mean it is a 60 round quad stack mag after all. But as far as inserting it in the gun, uh, that ain't too bad. Just give it a tap like any other mag, it goes in no problem. So here's the initial problem that everyone talks about. They're not drop safe. There's just no easy way around it. You can see the rounds got jammed down into that mag pretty well. I tried beating the crap out of it to get them to come back up to get that follower to push them back up and it just ain't happening. So after slamming it a few more times, it finally did the whole sprang noise and the rounds popped to the top, but I did lose a few rounds out of it. So with that being said, try not to drop this thing, but accidents do happen. I ended up shooting a few more rounds through it, probably about five or 10 rounds in between each drop. And it continued to be not drop safe until I got down to about 20 rounds left in there. And at that point, uh, the only thing that seemed to happen is I might lose a round, it might pop out the top or something, but otherwise it wasn't anything catastrophic. Also, I want to say I did a rifle drop test with the mag in it, dropping the rifle directly on the mag, and it has the same outcome. The mag gets all bound up, you get one shot off, and that's it. Overall, as far as functionality, the mag did function fine. It fed the rounds fine. Everything seemed to be good. There was no hiccups with that. But as you hear, here's another great example. I had about 30 rounds in the mag, and you could see every time you drop it, it's just not drop safe. So as far as fun on the range, um, maybe even a home defense scenario, as far as the mag functioning, fine. As far as, well, this thing, be good for war would this be your run into battle magazine i would not recommend it because that malfunction right there you might as well throw out the mag and just grab another one if your main role is sitting in one position and being some type of suppressive fire operator that doesn't run around much and you have very limited chance of dropping your equipment then sure i guess so and the one other big issue I had after this last drop test was uh, the feed lips seemed to expand. So I was trying to get it back into the gun. It would not go. I was trying to slam it in there. It would not go. I actually ended up having to push around down a little bit and squeeze the feed lips back together just for this thing to fit in. You can see I drop it again with about 25 or so rounds in there. And of course, rounds jumped out the top. Now we're going to do a little test with a 40 round PMAG. You just saw me compare it to a standard 30 rounder. It's not that much bigger. And the cool thing about the 40 rounders are they can still sit in your plate carriers, your mag holders, whatever. I've got a battle belt and they sit in that just fine. So I'm gonna do some of the same testing. If anything, I'm gonna be a little bit rougher with the 40 rounder, uh, but I shot a few rounds out, threw it on safe, dropped it out. Didn't seem to be any issues there. So I said, you know what? Let me beat the heck out of this thing. So I started throwing it, beating the snot out of it, and the worst thing that happened, uh, even right there dropping it directly on the feed lips, I had a round pop out, otherwise the mag was still fine. And for anyone wondering, I test my stuff like this because I do a lot of run and gun style drills. I've had my equipment fall off of me and slap the ground pretty hard. I wanna make sure my equipment is gonna be able to handle anything I put through it. So not only do I want it to be able to function while I'm training, but if I'm in an actual life or death scenario, in any instance, I wanna know that stuff is reliable. And the best way to find that out is go out there and beat the snot out of it. Don't be afraid to use your stuff. A lot of us like to buy stuff, we keep it up on the shelf, and we don't truly know what it can handle. Buy a couple of things, take one of them, go out there, and see its limitations. But as far as this 40-round PMAG goes, I would absolutely trust my life with it. 
I would rather have a little bit less ammo and go with the 40 rounder over any unreliable 60 round magazine. And that includes drums as well. I know there's some 50 and 60 round drums out here. Uh, some are reliable, some are not. I'm really looking forward to testing out a 65 round uh, drum mag real soon. Just haven't been able to get my hands on one yet. All right, so that's my initial thoughts and review on the Schmeiser 60 round mag. I think it's a cool concept. I think it's really fun at the range, uh, but I do not trust my life with it, which sucks because I really, really wanted it to work out. Um, I'll still have fun with it, though. Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.